I'm Dr. Roger, and this question is from the March 2021 U.S. exam, non-calculator section. College Board is asking about the equation of the circle, and they will normally ask this question, either asking from the equation that you find the center or the radius, or asking that given the center and radius, you find the equation, or occasionally some other adaptation of this circle question. So I'm going to recall that the general equation for a circle is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared and this has center h k and radius r. So to write the equation in the circle I'll want to complete the square. I'll rewrite what I have x squared minus 10x and I'll leave a space to complete the square plus y squared plus 6y I'll leave a space to complete the square equals 2. To complete the square where I have the x terms here I take half of the linear coefficient so half of negative 10 is negative 5 and I square that negative 5 squared is positive 25. Since I add 25 on the left I'll add 25 on the right. Similarly half of the linear coefficient, half of 6 is 3, 3 squared is 9, so I'll add 9 on the left and I'll add 9 on the right. By completing the square, I've turned both of these into expressions that are perfect squares. The x expression is x minus 5 quantity squared and the y expression is y plus 3 quantity squared equals, it turns out we don't need this but we'll find it anyways, 25 plus 9 is 34 plus 2 is 36. So x minus h is x minus 5, y minus k is y minus negative 3, hk, the coordinates of the center, would be 5, negative 3, which is choice c. If I needed the radius, r squared equals 36, so r is positive 6, remember the radius will be the positive square root. In the event that we had a leading coefficient for the x squared and y squared that was not 1, we would take the linear coefficient over the quadratic coefficient, half of that, and then square it. But College Board has never done that on the SAT, so I'm not going to worry about it much on this video. It is important to know the standard equation of the circle x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared equals r squared gives you center positive h, positive k with radius r. A shortcut here, we see that the center will be half the linear coefficient and then flip the sign. Since the linear coefficient for x is negative 10, half that is negative 5, flipping the sign is positive 5, which is c or d. Since the y linear coefficient is 6, Half of that is positive 3, flipping the sign is negative 3, so it's choice C and not choice D. You can do this question with a, without writing anything out, but often you will need to write out this work, so it's worth going through it in this particular case as a learning experience. Come back soon for my next video. With math, there's always more.